Tens of thousands of fans over 10 seasons of baseball. It's now a decade of success for the St. Joseph Mustangs. I never um, thought in terms of, of just how big a deal we would be in the fabric of St. Joe. The Mustangs have become a dynasty, both on and off the field. We didn't know what we were getting into, but we did have a plan. I can tell you Dan always wanted to have do things the right way. After several attempts to field a team in St. Joseph over the decades, many felt the 79-year-old Phil Walsh Stadium needed a new home team. After all, legends like Satchel Paige, Yogi Berra, Stan Musial, and Mickey Mantle all took the field in Phil Welch. I just really felt the first time I saw Phil Welch that it could be a really great place to watch a game. It was about a two-year process before we played our first game to, to get the whole to, to get everything going in motion. Finally, the team played its first game on May 20, 2009, and the Mustangs were born. Not a lot of coaches have an opportunity to build a program from scratch and get it to, to um, you know, a very high level. Local players combined with talent from all over the country, along with a family-friendly environment, was the perfect recipe for success. I had conversations with people. They said, you'll average you know, 600 a game at best. And I'd be like, no, I really think we can average 1,500 a game. Disney World or Disneyland is a long drive for people to go to or an expensive trip. And so my job is to kind of, you know what, I want people to be able to escape, have some fun. Uh, and the question is, how do you do that? And it's not an easy answer, and it's something that's always evolving, but it's always something that's at the forefront of our mind. And 10 years after the start, the team has seen one of their players from the first year back in 2009 become the team's manager in the organization's 10th year in Johnny Coy. I love St. Joe, and I enjoy every time I'm out here at Phil Welch. And uh, I knew I was super excited, and I know the fans were excited. So the Mustangs will head into their second decade next spring, making more memories for the fans, players, and everyone who's associated with the team. It was definitely something I would, I would never trade. Um, it was one of the greatest experiences I've ever had. Chris Roush, KQ2, your local news leader.